uh, <laughs> hello, my name is Alex, and um, that was very racist, I apologize. Um, but yeah, uh, hello all you beautiful, beautiful people, my name is Alex, and I just realized why I never used these glasses. Um, I hope you're all having a good day, I certainly am, even though I did go out drinking last night. I am actually trying this whole new, um, I was having some issues with my recording uh, yesterday, like I mentioned, well, for the past few recordings, actually, and um, I'm trying this thing actually built into YouTube, they have, like, you can record directly onto your YouTube um, account, I guess, so I'm trying this thing, it's apparently Flash-based, and uh, it doesn't seem to have any lag or glitches like the uh, other software did. So uh, that's a good thing. Yeah! Um, what else? Well, uh, nothing much has happened since yesterday. I did go out with my friends. I had a few drinks. Um, I couldn't really get into the party mood or swing of things. So I went home very early and uh, went to bed and woke up pretty pretty well in form um, <coughs> so that's good um, but as a result I am also doing a repeat of yesterday's um, adventures today uh, meaning I will be going out again today to see if I can get into a better form than yesterday hopefully I hope the audio on this thing isn't going to be super peaky um, if so, I'm going to have to try and adjust that somehow. But yeah, um, not much has happened. Played some more Planet Side 2, like a few minutes. Uh, well, half an hour. Um, I still can't get my proper... I still don't know properly how to do that. I mean, what I'm trying to say here is that I don't get the appeal. I get the appeal in the sense that there are massive battles and thousands of people, but it, to me it just kind of seemed like a giant cluster fudge uh, around a little gate. Uh, didn't really seem like I had much of options. I, all I did was run around as a medic. Uh, at some, uh, oh, I started out trying to snipe and use the assault rifles, but uh, assault classes, I mean. Uh, but I ended up just being a medic. That's pretty much the only point at which I actually felt I accomplished something. But being a medic doesn't really give you points when you heal someone, as far as I could tell. Now, I don't know. I guess I'll have to play it some more and see if I can get into it properly, but quite honestly, slightly less scale, a lot more polished. I would probably go play Battlefield 3 instead, to be quite honest. It's not the sci-fi feel to it, but uh, like I said, a lot more polished. And as a medic, you're the, actually the class that makes the most points. Um, not that I prefer the medic, but Anyways, uh, oh, awesome news, awesome, awesome news. So, I'll link it down in the description, but uh, you know Funcom, the the video game company based from uh, out of Norway, and uh, they made Age of Conan, uh, The Longest Journey, Dreamfall, uh, recently The Secret World, and Anarchy Online. I played Anarchy Online so much back in the day. Remind me to do a story on that. Um, I was actually pretty big on Anarchy Online back in the day. I mean, like, literally ten years ago. Wow. But, uh, yeah. Remind me to do a story on Anarchy Online. Tell you guys about my adventures there. Um, but, yeah. They... Okay, so, back in 2006, uh, Dreamfall came out. It was a second installment of the Longest Journey game, uh, which is a... I guess you would call it a point-and-click puzzle. 
And quite honestly, it is the first and only game in my freaking entire life that I have actually cried at the end of the game. Like, quite literally. So far in my 27 year old long life, I have not cried to a video game except Dreamfall. I cried at the end of that game and I cried like a baby. I'm not ashamed to say it. The story in that game, in those games actually, is just so mind-blowingly awesome. Ragnar Tornquist, uh, which is the person who wrote the story for them, uh, <coughs> uh, announced that he has started his own uh, video game company called um, Red Thread Studios, or something like that. Red Thread something at least. And uh, he... Uh, he talked to Funcom, and since he essentially is the entire story behind uh, both those games, he he got full rights of uh, the Longest Journey series. So back back when Dreamfall came out, it when the game ended, it kind of left you with a huge major spoil uh, major story cliffhanger at the end of it, and. Uh, they said that they would release episodes like shorter installments of the game and uh, like a shorter episodic episodical is that the way you say it? episodical releases uh, to continue the story but it never happened this was back in 2006 like six years ago now and uh, I kind of never thought it would happen and so all of a sudden from Funcom I saw a post on my Facebook saying that they are going to uh, have uh, Red Thread Studios Ragnar Tornquist continue the uh, the longest journey storyline and I'm so excited for that. Like I said, it is without a doubt the game that I enjoyed the story on most ever. If you haven't played the Longest Journey, it's an old game, but still, the story is freaking awesome. If you haven't played it, go play The Longest Journey and The Longest Journey slash Dreamfall, uh, and you will be amazed. I shit you not. Sorry for my language, but it is really necessary in this case. Yeah. But, um, see, I'm going to link it down in the description if you're interested. I think both the games are now on Steam. Longest Journey games, uh, and you should de definitely check them out. Just, uh, support Funcom. They uh, are having trouble staying afloat in this day and age. And uh, I definitely hope that the uh, return of uh, Ragnar Tornquist into the, the Longest Journey series is going to uh, help Funcom as well. Because, you know, I want to support a Norwegian gaming company. Ah, oh, yeah. <clears throat> so, um, that's about it. Guess I'll see you guys tomorrow. Um, I'm gonna eat some food and, uh, go out. So, yeah. See ya. Ciao.